iPhone SE versus iPhone 6S Plus iOS 10.2 coming right up. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this iPhone SE versus iPhone 6S Plus iOS 10.2 comparison video. Let's begin with a boot up test right out of the gate. Let's go in three, two, and let's go here. So the SE is showing Apple logo first, but let's see who gets to the home screen first. Now I did do a comparison of the iPhone 5 versus iPhone 5S versus iPhone SE versus iPhone 6S Plus. You can go ahead and check that one down below in the description area, or I'll leave it right up here in a card. But the iPhone SE is first to the home screen and then the 6S Plus here. So let's go ahead and get into the 6S Plus. But there's a specific reason why I'm creating this video. So I was playing around with this application called Lyrium Info, which tells you a bunch about your device. You're gonna see it right here under the iPhone SE. And I found out that the, you know, the SE has the TSMC chipset. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that here on the iPhone SE if the camera can get into focus here. Let's see if it can get into focus there. Having a little bit of troubles focusing here. But you can see right there, if I go into this device and I go into CPU, you can see that we do have the, let's see, the TSMC chipset right there from the manufacturer. Now the iPhone 6S Plus has the, you know, the Samsung chipset. So this was a big thing way back when, when they were talking about Chipgate. And um, I just wanted to see if there was a big difference in terms of the performance between these two devices with the differing chipsets. So you can see right here, the Samsung chipset right there below. So let's go ahead and confirm the iOS versions before we continue any further with this test. So I'm gonna go to about on the iPhone SE and you can see that we are running iOS 10.2 just so it's fair here. Let's go to general here on the iPhone 6S Plus and you can see iOS 10.2 here. So with that being said, Samsung chipset on the right, TSMC on the left. Let's go ahead and begin our speed test here in terms of the applications. So let's go ahead and start with the calculator in three, two, one. You can see that look like the 6S Plus. Let me know down below. Let's go home. Let's looks like the SE is home quicker. Let's go into camera. So the 6S Plus looked a little bit quicker on the camera. Let's come home. SE back to the home screen. Let's go into weather. And that looked dead even for Samsung and the TSMC chip. The TSMC, the TSMC chip over here on the SE. So let's go to settings. Missed that one on the SE. We're gonna have to close that one out for this to be fair. Let's go into settings. And that looked about dead even. Let's come home. And both are A9 chipsets, but manufactured by different, you know, companies. So look like the 6S Plus. So the Samsung chip is pretty blazing fast here. Let's go into the App Store. And looks like the, whoa, that was really close. I think that was dead even. Let's come home here. And let's go into phone here. And you could see about the same once again. So that one, they actually went home at the same time as well. Let's go to Twitter here. Let's see what happens on this test. So it looks like the SE millisecond. So this is very minor. This is really nothing actually. Let's go into voice memos here on both. And look like the 6S Plus there. Let's go home. Looks like the SE back. So the SE is consistently showing that it's going to the home screen quicker, back to the home screen. So let's go into Instagram here on both devices. By the way, you can follow me on Instagram, underscore Nick, underscore Ackerman. Got the link down below. I got a feed of technology. So if you love technology, then you can go ahead and follow me there. I post regularly. You could hit me up there. I'll text you up on that baby too. Direct message me uh, down below, description area. Let's go into Appy Geek and you could see they're about the exact same. Look like the 6S Plus was maybe milliseconds ahead. Let's come home. Now this is getting really close here. We're talking milliseconds. Let's go into calendar here on both. About the same once again. Let's come home. So if you guys were wondering about, oh, if I got the Samsung chipset or the TSMC, I might have a slower device. The Samsung took it there on that test, then you probably shouldn't really even care about that because they're gonna be about the same no matter which A9 you have, it, whether you have the A9 for the TSMC model or you have the A9 for the you know the Samsung chipset over here on the 6S Plus. So let's go into Pixlr on both devices and you can see about the same there on that one again. So coming home about the same there. So let's go into eBay on both devices. Dead even on eBay, I would say slightly ahead on the 6S Plus. Let's come home here 
and it looks like the iPhone SE back to the home screen first. Let's go into Amazon on both. And it looks like the SE ahead on that one. So it's flip-flopping here and there. One is a millisecond faster than the other, but really this is almost identical. But let's see if the SE can take it in a little bit of Mario action right here. Let's see which one opens this quicker. Now this is going to be a game, so 1080p screen, exactly the same. Let's see what happens. Nope, the SE was a bit quicker, so the SE will take the win in terms of Mario Run, if you ask me. See, the SE is ahead here on Mario Run. Now comes the iPhone 6S Plus. So the SE is quicker on Mario Run. Let's go into Temple Run here. And I missed that one on the iPhone 6S Plus. So I'm going to have to do that test one more time. Temple Run on both devices. And let's see what happens there. Looks like... Let's see who gets there first. Man, that is really close, but I have to say it's going to be the iPhone SE. So the iPhone SE might have the leg up in gaming because it does have less pixels to push across the screen. So let's go ahead and do a multitasking test and see if they are dead even in the multitasking RAM management department. Let's go into calculator. You can see exactly the same. Let's come out. Let's go into temple run. Temple run here. That wasn't fair. Let's do that one more time. Temple run about the same so i don't expect these to be any different in terms of the multitasking amazon dead even on both let's go over into let's see youtube here on both devices and exactly the same there now i did notice one major difference here between the tsmc iphone as to the samsung iphone and that is that i had better battery life on the iphone se over the you know 6s plus now that might just be because it's a much smaller phone driving much less pixels but i did notice that so let's go ahead and just see how these apps open for a second time we're going to do this one more time so let's go into calculator dead even let's go into camera dead even let's go into weather dead even let's go into settings dead even let's go into clock dead even let's go into app store dead even once again phone twitter so you can see these are these are like exactly the same we do we even got to talk anymore these are exactly the same so if you guys are wondering if i got a tsmc chip or a samsung chip i really hope i got the tsmc i really hope i got the samsung don't fret they're about the same exact speed and performance the a9 is a blistering fast cpu and ios 10.2 is highly optimized for both the iPhone SE as well as the 6S models here. Now I know there's some battery shutoff issues going on with the 6S Plus which should be addressed in iOS 10.3 coming soon for your iPhones. But I just wanted to show you guys this video comparison of the iPhone SE versus the iPhone 6S Plus on iOS 10.2. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor by clicking the like button for me. Comment down below which phone would you rather go with, the iPhone SE or the iPhone 6S Plus. I'd like to know your guys' you know, opinions and tastes on these models right here. And let's talk about that in the comment section. And uh, please subscribe for more technology videos like this. This is Nick here helping you master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one. And peace.